In this video I will guide you on how to achieve the ECC requirement of subdomain 2 to 12 about cybersecurity event logs and monitoring management. First, in order to meet control 2, 1, 2, 1, you need to define, document, and approve the cybersecurity requirements for event logs and monitoring management. This includes creating a policy that outlines the purpose and scope of event log collection and monitoring, as well as the procedures for collecting, analyzing, and storing event logs. This policy should be reviewed and approved by the appropriate parties within your organization, such as the IT department and management. Next, in order to meet Control 2122, you need to implement the cybersecurity requirements for event logs and monitoring management. This includes configuring event logging on critical information assets and remote access systems, as well as setting up user access controls to ensure that only authorized personnel can access event logs. In order to meet Control 2123, you need to activate event logging on critical information assets and remote access systems, as well as identify the required technologies for event log collection, such as a security information and event management SIEM, system. You also need to implement continuous monitoring of cybersecurity events and establish a retention period of at least 12 months for event logs. Control 2, 1, 2, 3, 1 Activation of Cybersecurity Event Logs on Critical Information Assets this control refers to the process of enabling logging on critical information assets, such as servers, databases, and network devices. This allows for the collection of event logs, which can provide valuable information on the activity of these assets. This includes information about user login and logout times, changes to the system, and other relevant events. By activating logging on critical information assets, organizations can improve their ability to detect and respond to potential cybersecurity incidents. To implement this control, organizations can use various tools and technologies such as security information and event management, SIEM, systems, log management solutions, or native logging capabilities of the assets themselves. These tools and technologies can help organizations to collect, analyze, and search through logs to identify potential threats and anomalies. Additionally, organizations can also establish policies and procedures for log collection, retention, and management to ensure that logs are collected, retained, and analyzed in compliance with legal and regulatory requirements, such as NCA, GDPR and HIPAA as best practice. 2. 1. 2. 3. 2. Activation of cybersecurity event logs on remote access and privileged user accounts. This control is important because it ensures that all activity on remote access and privileged user accounts is being tracked and logged. This includes login attempts, successful logins, and any actions taken while logged in. This is particularly important for high-privilege accounts, such as administrator accounts, as they can be used to perform actions that can have a significant impact on the organization. To implement this control, you can use logging and monitoring tools that track and log activity on remote access and privileged user accounts. One example of such a tool is a security information and event management SIEM, system which can collect and analyze logs from multiple sources, including remote access and privileged user accounts. Other tools that can be used include remote authentication dial in user service, radius, servers and VPN appliances. Additionally, it is important to have a process in place to review and analyze the event logs generated by these tools. This can be done through the use of automated analysis tools or through manual review by trained security personnel. It's also important to have a process in place to respond to any suspicious or malicious activity that is detected in the event logs, such as blocking or terminating a user's access. It is important to remember that, in order to comply with laws and regulations, you should keep records of the logs for a minimum of 12 months and also have a process in place to retrieve them if needed. Control 21233 is about identifying the technologies that are needed for collecting cybersecurity event logs. One of the most commonly used technologies for this purpose is a security information and event management SIEM, system. SIEM systems are designed to collect and analyze event logs from a variety of different sources, such as servers, network devices, and applications. They can also be used to correlate events from different sources to identify potential security threats. Other important features of a SIEM system include the ability to perform real-time monitoring, alerting, and reporting on events. Additionally, many SIEM systems also include built-in correlation rules, which can be used to identify known threats and anomalies. Another important technology that can be used for event log collection is log management software. This software is used to collect and store log data in a central location, 
making it easy to search, analyze, and report on logs. This can be useful for identifying trends or patterns in log data, which can help to identify potential security issues. When it comes to preparing documents, it's important to have a documented plan for collecting, analyzing, and monitoring event logs. This plan should include details on what types of logs will be collected, how often they will be collected, and how long they will be retained. It should also include information on what types of analysis will be performed on the logs, such as real-time monitoring, correlation, and reporting. It's also important to have a clear chain of custody for logs, meaning that there is a clear understanding of who is responsible for creating, maintaining, and securing logs. It's also important to have a clear communication plan in place to ensure that all stakeholders are aware of the event logs collection and monitoring procedures and know what to do in case of an incident. Overall, the key is to have a robust and well-planned event log collection and monitoring strategy in place to detect potential cyber threats as soon as possible. Control 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 is focused on the continuous monitoring of cybersecurity events. This means that once the event logs have been activated and are being collected, it's important to have a system in place to continuously monitor those logs for any unusual or suspicious activity. This can be done through the use of security information and event management, SIEM, tools, which collect and analyze event logs from various sources, such as network devices, servers, and applications, to identify potential security threats. These tools can also be configured to send alerts when certain conditions are met, such as when a high number of failed login attempts are detected from a particular IP address. The goal of continuous monitoring is to detect potential cyber attacks or other security incidents as early as possible, so that appropriate action can be taken to prevent or minimize the negative impacts on the organization's operations. This is an ongoing process that should be part of the organization's incident response plan. The technology used for this control are typically SIEM, security information and event management, tools, which can be provided by several vendors such as Splunk, Logarithm, McAfee, etc. In addition, having a dedicated team or individual who is responsible for monitoring and analyzing the event logs is also important. This team or individual should have the necessary skills and training to understand what they are looking for and what actions to take when an issue is identified. 2, 1, 2, 3, 5 Retention period for cybersecurity event logs refers to the amount of time that event logs are kept for. The ECC requires that event logs must be retained for a minimum of 12 months. This means that all event logs must be kept for at least 12 months, even after they are no longer active. This is important for several reasons, such as it allows organizations to review event logs over a longer period of time, which can help identify patterns or trends that may indicate a security incident. It provides organizations with a historical record of their security posture, which can be useful for compliance purposes or for demonstrating due diligence in the event of a security incident. It can be used for forensic investigations if an incident occurs. As for tools and technology, there are many solutions available for event log collection, retention, and monitoring, including Security Information and Event Management, SIEM, tools that can collect, store, and analyze event logs from multiple sources in real-time. Event Log Management tools that can help organizations manage, retain, and archive event logs for compliance and forensic purposes. Network Monitoring and Intrusion Detection Systems that can help identify and alert on security-related events on an organization's networks. And regarding the documents that should be prepared, security policies and procedures that outline how event logs will be collected, retained, and monitored. Incident response plan that describes how event logs will be used to detect and respond to security incidents. Data retention policies that outline how long event logs will be kept for and how they will be securely deleted when no longer needed. Compliance documentation that demonstrates how event logs are being used to meet regulatory requirements such as NCA, GDPR or HIPAA as best practice. It's important to have a well-defined process for event log management in order to ensure compliance with regulations and industry standards, and to be able to detect and respond to security incidents in a timely manner. Control 2, 1, 2, 4. To meet Control 2, 1, 2, 4, you need to review the cybersecurity requirements for event logs and monitoring management on a regular basis. This includes regularly assessing the effectiveness of your event logging and monitoring controls and making any necessary adjustments to ensure that they are meeting the needs of your organization. In terms of technology and tools, there are several options available for event log collection and monitoring. Some popular options include security information and event management, SIEM, systems, such as Splunk, 
Logarithm, and IBM's Curator, as well as log management tools like Elk, Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana, Stack, Greylog and Logly. Additionally, many modern enterprise security solutions such as Firewall, Endpoint Security, IDS, IPS and EDR have built-in event log collection and monitoring capabilities. It's also important to prepare the necessary documents and procedures for event log collection and monitoring, such as incident response plans and data retention policies. These documents should be reviewed and approved by the appropriate parties within your organization and should be easily accessible to all relevant personnel. In addition to the above, it is important to comply with relevant laws and regulations related to data privacy and security.